All right, back on Morning Line. It is our final segment with Barbara McGinnis, Takis McGinnis, Elder Law. It's good to have her on on this Tuesday. It's our final segment here, uh, Barbara, and I know we've had a lot of calls this morning covering a lot of ground. Wanted to just ask you, since I hadn't seen you in a while, when you came on, I know you always research a bit before you join us on the show. Are there a couple other things you wanted to touch on you think our viewers need to know about? We've got just a few minutes here in this last segment. Uh, yes, sort of leaving the whole COVID-19 behind, uh, there is a concept in the world called Dementia Village, and Dementia Village is in the Netherlands. Hmm. It is uh, it's very interesting. The concept is an open, normal living environment with supervision for people with moderate to severe dementia. Wow. So the point is, it's it's like a mini city or a little town or village, um, not just a recreated unit in a nursing home. And in that village, there are, you know, places that look like restaurants, grocery stores, pharmacies, things that look normal, parks, uh, and little living environment and little homes. And in those individual homes, there may be five, six, seven residents that live in each home. Well, everybody that works in the village, whether they're dressed like a grocer or a, a bank teller, they're all really nurses and caregivers. Huh. And the point is that we have truly entered their reality and help keep them safe and cared for at the same time. Wow, um, now, what a the, great idea. The creator, the, the creator, his name is Eloy Van Al. Al. Um, he's Dutch, obviously, and I've probably mispronounced his name. <laughs> but if you look up just Dementia Village, you will eventually hit this this um, place in the Netherlands and this person. We are going to be a co-sponsor of a town hall that features him live the end of June, um, June 24th. And it'll start at 11 a.m. It will be free for people that want to uh, uh, find the call-in information. So we're going to hear him speak about the, the concept of Dementia Village. And then we're, it'll be open to quest, question and answers. Now, this is a co-sponsored national presentation. So there will be maybe five hundred to a thousand people on the call so i can't guarantee everybody's question will be answered by eloy but it will be a way of getting some uh, a really good insight into an interesting concept wouldn't it be oh, wonderful yeah right? i love sounds, it sounds a little bit sounds a little bit more like i would want to be living right. if i were living with dementia i just think that's so, I, I had never heard of that till you just mentioned it i'm going to check that out i may even post on that later today um as you okay. understand it is this something where then the seniors would go to this village the way in this country and pay for it the way we do say assisted living or a nursing home instead you have an option of going to this village which is very cleverly set up with nurses and everyone but the the people in their reality as their minds go think they're still living in a normal town and normal way of life for right. them yeah and, and i think you know there's lots of things to think it may not translate completely from the netherlands to the united states mm. because our cultures are different to begin with but it, it could be you know there could be some models uh and room for that's part of the room for opportunity i don't think they let them drive little cars around probably <laughs> bicycles and, and encourage lots of walking those kind of things i sincerely doubt there's a liquor store hmm. um uh, on campus those kind of things but in, and then the way their health care is paid for is so different oh, from right. ours as well right so you know but uh, living in the community not free now to us so we we're used to paying for living sure. in a community and uh, I, I, they're they're under a socialized medicine health care system so care is paid for real differently but you know the concept what? nevertheless it, is awesome it, i just think it's great i can tell you right now i know it's something my folks would love but i want i look at that almost barbara as a natural extension of say these dell webb facilities you know dell webb where it's 50 and yep. over and now these people still are sharp and together and there's a, a big one that i'm very familiar right. with in mount juliet and but i i wonder right. you know it's 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 a 
planned community. It's very, very nice. And you have to be 50 or older, I think, to live there. And I'm just wondering then as right. you get to a different level of that, setting up a village along the lines of what you see at Del Webb or something like that, you could do that in this country. I think you could. I think you could. And um, if most of assisted living in our country is private pay anyway, right? You know, it seems to fit. So it's it's just about thinking outside of the box and creating a, a you know again back to the quality of life for older adults and the way they're going to be cared for and live. Oh, I'm really glad you mentioned it's very it. Dignified. Hey, I just want to get back to reminding folks one more time about uh, the situation with you and what you've been up to in terms of how you're still open for business. You and Tim are doing it. It's been electronic. Remind people where you are, what what you do, and and I know you're moving to a new office, but that's not until July. Just uh, let them know if they need help right. and questions, and we'll get your information up as well. We're, uh, we're physically in Hendersonville, but we're apparently virtually a lot of places. Right. So uh, it does make it easier for, for clients that are remote, live in remote areas of Tennessee to uh, visit with us or consult with us via the video. We are open. We've never been closed during this um, uh, time, but we have been working remotely since March 23rd, I wow. think. So we're in our 12th week. Uh, I'm almost good at working from home now and, and using virtual technology, <clears throat> as we all have made a lot of progress. So we're in Hendersonville. You can find us on the web at www.tn-elderlaw.com. Lots of information on the website. We also have a podcast now called Aging Starts Now. Um, we cover a lot of uh, I think interesting topics. We're, we're not too controversial, yeah. <laughs> you know. It's still a lot about just providing information, right? Uh, and and spotting some issues for folks. Um, so those are some of the ways that we're still reaching out into the community. We're, we're hosting a number of free webinars on various topics. We've got one later this month on. Um, the top 10 asset planning mistakes and how to prevent them. So Tim and I will be doing that one together. Well, that's awesome. We've got the information out there. And hey, um, you and Tim are, I think, among the very best in the country at what you do with elder law. You really are. I mean, you guys are cutting edge. You know what's happening. <laughs> and again, you have a nursing background, don't you, Barbara? I do. Yeah. Um, actually, I have two nursing degrees from Austin P State University and worked as a, a, a hospital nurse for yeah. a couple of years before I went um, to the Vanderbilt graduate program for geriatric nurse practitioner. So I functioned as a function. I practiced as a nurse <laughs> practitioner for uh, 20, 20 years before yeah. I went to law school. Wow. And, um, you know, those two, those two um, specialties, even though they sound diverse, have, have worked very well together. It's really given me or prepared me for an understanding of a lot of the issues that older adults and their families are facing as they're trying to navigate care. Oh, yeah. It's certainly not an easy thing to do. Yeah, it meshes perfectly with what you're doing in elder law, and that's and that's what you guys do at uh, Takeus McGinnis is cover so many facets of it. Listen, Barbara, thank you so much for joining us. So listen, take care of yourself and give my best to Tim, and we'll see you again soon. All right. Thanks, Nick. All Bye. Right. That's Barbara McGinnis. Really good to talk to her this morning uh, via Zoom. We'll take a break. When I come back, got a programming note for you about what's going on tomorrow right after this. Stay with us.